Edited by Alna. Hey everyone, my name's Aldoc and I present to you my beginner's editing pack. Hey everyone, my name is Aldoc and today I'm going to do an editing tutorial. Now I've already made two of these but the second one was too long and the first one wasn't well explained enough. So today I present you a short snappy montage that should hopefully boost your editing skills a lot. I've already got everything set out, I'm using Sony Vegas 18 and this can be applied to pretty much any software. You're just going to have to find out sort of alternatives but flow wise and syncing wise and cinematics wise you can use this on anything. So I'm using this song right now. And just a note, I've already pre-recorded the cinematics just to make it a bit faster and I'm going to play you all the, the clips that I got. So this one's a gameplay clip followed by the mid kill cinematic then the after kill cinematic. So here we go. No, they're not synced up yet. So That's the mid kill cinematic. And that's the one after that I get the kill. So obviously we're not going to be using that in order and that song, but those are the three clips we're using. I've got everything I need here, and we are going to be using a lot of stuff from my edit pack, so make sure you purchase it from the pay hip um, if you want to sort of have a little bit of a boost. But So what we're going to start off doing is dragging the clip and finding where the beat drop is. Now you can see there, that frequency, that's the beat drop. You see that little squiggle there. Now I'm going to mark out where I want the cinematic to start, right there, and then that's going to be after the kill, and that's going to be where the clip ends. Okay, so we got everything set out, you might be wondering, what the hell are you doing here Al Duck? I'm going to show you. So first I'm going to drag the clip in, so we know this one's a beat drop, I'm going to drag it right until I shoot. So this frame here, split that by clicking S. I'm going to drag this part of the clip before here, because this is where I want the cinematic to be. And what I'm going to do here is split the clip there. First what I'm going to do is add velocity on the kill. Alright, so once you've got the velocity, um, what I like to do at kills is always do a spike and drag that down and make this fast fade. What this does is make the curve a lot smoother and less sharp and look how it looks. You can see it looks a lot better when, especially when it's slow motion down. So this one I dragged all the way up to a thousand and here I dragged it down to 45. So what we got now is the basis of what we want to do and we're not going to add our cinematics in yet. So I'm just going to drag them closer just so I can have them ready. What I'm going to do first um, I'm actually just going to use one of my presets from my edit pack. I'm going to use this really nice pump. Um, I'm going to take off the saturation. On the hi-hats, I'm just going to add pumps. And what I'm going to do is copy this, because this one's got the initial pump there. I'm going to select the V-Paste event attributes and select video event effects and effect keyframes. And hit OK. Now we can add some color correction. So I'm actually going to re-enable the saturation adjust. Although it looks very saturated right now, once we add a color correction onto it, it will look a lot better. Now what I'm going to do is I've already made a bunch of my color corrections on Magic Billy Looks. And these are all my presets. I haven't included these in the preset pack because I want you all to make your own. Um, it will just give you a lot of benefits making your own because mine actually aren't the best. But I'm just going to maybe select this one 
it's very desaturated and a lot of contrast. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And for the kill effect, of course we're going to use our presets. Um, I'm just going to use one of my presets over here, where it's sort of a pink glow. This is my classic kill effect, and it is included in the pack. So here we got two nice. What we could do now is start to add cinematics. So if you don't have the preset pack, all it, all this is is keyframing, shakes, blur, and make it look a lot sort of nicer. The color correction can be easy created with magic, magic Billy looks. I'll show you. You can see you, you already have a bunch of looks pre-installed on it, and I don't use these. But what I like to do sometimes is select one. You see these options and you can play around with these create something that's you you see that's a very 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 light sort of overdone color correction but that's just an example you can just you can just play around with it you know contrast decrease increase increase saturation different colors you know that's i rape you don't want to do that but i mean you can do anything with magic bullet looks really what i'm going to do now is we are now ready to add cinematics i've what i've done here I've grabbed my cinematic and held control and increased it to as much as I can. I split the clip around there and drag it in and here we have our cinematic. Nah I'm joking, we gotta add we gotta add effects to this. So add velocity first. You wanna have flow. Increase this up all the way to a thousand. Actually I'm gonna do less since my cinematic is quite short. That looks good. And for a basis, you don't have to do this, you can always add your own effects. I'm just going to quickly copy my settings for my pan. You need a transition on this, so what I'm going to do, blur mode curves is a go to transition for literally everyone. So first I'm going to transition the first clip, I want it to zoom in. So I'm going to drag the reflect on, um, make sure these are both set to reflect. And we're going to want to change the Z distance, you see this sort of makes it zoom in and out. Uh, you want it to be reflected, so um, Z distance gonna transition the first clip what we're gonna do is drag this all the way down since it zooms in and right click on that little keyframe hit slow fade and this should you see that already looks good but we want it we want it to make it look better now and I'm gonna hit um blimmer curves again on this clip select Z distance and we're gonna make it more realistic by increasing it to around 1.4 now that one frame looks disgusting I know but we're gonna want it to go in I, we're gonna want it to go back out so slow fade 1.4 ish you see how it goes out then in then back out again it looks very realistic, like Sapphire have done a great great job of making this effect because it's really really useful in like literally all situations. If we just pre-render this to make it look smoother, we'll get a better idea of what it looks like. Now we can grab our other cinematic, our zoom out one. This is where we got where we get after the kill. So that looks like absolute shit you can see. Since we've got two pumps, I want this thing to have a lot of flow. So First I'm going to drag this velocity down, fast fade it, put this down to 16. I've already increased this clip to 400% so we can afford to make this 16% without having too many frame drops, if that makes sense. Then as you can see this sort of shoots up like this and I'm actually going to include another little spike over here. You want the curves to look like this, like curved, you don't want it to be sharp. That looks really nice. So I'm just going to split the clip there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'd reflect on this, on the kill. This is the clip where I get the kill now, the section. And I want it to zoom out, so I'm going to drag it up on the Z distance. Slow fade, that's. And now I'm going to, I want the same pump. Effect and effect keyframes on the pump clip. Because I want it, yeah, I want that to be a pump. And let's transition this so Z distance curves go down and here we go so if you want to zoom out I want this clip to zoom out you want the first transition to be zooming out then the second one to be zooming in you can see that this looks really good except for this one um, where I'm gonna just add a little pump 
by you know copying and selectively pasting event attributes. Uh, literally, you know, some people think it's scummy to use presets and copy and paste event attributes, but in reality, it just speeds up the whole process, makes it look a lot better. And yeah, uh, we already got a f we already got a zoom in, which is good. So this is already ready to use for another cinematic afterwards because it zooms in. So this is what we got so far. I'll just pre-render it. Um. That looks really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do um black bars to cinematics. But I've got a little trick up my sleeve. So what I've got is this photo. Okay? And what I like to do is firstly decrease the size of the black bars by um altering the pan crop settings. Now that that is a good black bar to use. So this is the key. I'm gonna drag this for the first keyframe. I'm gonna drag it between the black bars so it looks like it's disappeared. If you see that and then copy this keyframe with the black bars are still there paste it there and then the first keyframe I'm gonna paste it right at the end and you'll see what this looks like you see how it, it just like close in I can paste this by hitting ctrl V selecting the keyframes selecting these two dragging them to the end and voila look at this perfect black bars Okay, that, that already looks like an amazing montage, but where's the sound effect? First, I'm going to add a pump sound effect. Okay, you need the pump sound effect. That sounds a bit bland to me. I want it to be a bit more snazzy. So I'm going to add a bit of reverb. I'm going to decrease it a little bit. That sounds great. What about a bit of pitch shift too? We're going to make this sound a bit deep. Pitch shift, maybe four. A bit too much reverb. That sounds great. Bass switch time. Let's drag this here. Always increase this to 12.0. By the way, these sound effects are available inside my editing pack. And I'm going to decrease the bass switch sound a lot. Okay. And now I'm going to duplicate the track. And I'm going to drag this one right when I shoot. There we go. And now this one, the cinematic bass swoosh. We want it to sort of swoosh out on this cinematic. So. You can see now, if I pre-render all of this, this looks amazing. Perfect. And little last finishing touch, RSMB. Now I'm going to show you all my RSMB settings. You can all just copy this, you know. Um, and I'm going to put this right here too. Save it, of course. And I'll see you when I render it. So I really hope that helped you all out, I'm sorry it um, wasn't too detailed, again the link to my editing pack is in the description if you decide to purchase it, it would really help you out and also support me, and yeah, thank you for watching boys, have a good day.